Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first G-G stream of 2023. If I could speak, that would be great. Um, yeah, it's been uh, a long time, two, three weeks, something like that. Quite, quite a few days in two or three weeks. I think it was three weeks. But this is loud. Okay, should be okay now. Let's see if anybody uh, even is still watching, eh? I also got um, a good new light. I got a stream deck for uh, Christmas and a new light and it's making me sweat it's quite hot. And I've got a new camera. Um, so I've got all sorts of new things that I hope are going to make the stream better. Um, but we'll see, I guess. We will see indeed. If you've seen a go live notification earlier and I wasn't there, then that's entirely my fault because I was playing around with the um, stream deck. And, um,. Um, I accidentally hit the button that uh, makes it go live um, unintentionally but now I did it intentionally maybe I'll remove this a little bit move that back a bit cool, that cable's now in the way damn, I didn't think about that fact how do I do this? maybe if I put that behind the screen sorry about this I've been trying to figure everything out with the cables for my new devices and it didn't go perfectly well but it is now also, I've got a new mouse and it's slow somewhat, but I think it's working now. I think last time we played, we were speaking to Vatras. Apart from that, I don't really know what we were doing. Have I spoken to you, city guard? I must have spoken to this guy. I don't know if I have. Well, it's a city guard. How important can it be? It's nighttime as well. Maybe we should find somewhere to sleep, but I don't know how easy that should would be. Valentina, where are we? Is this a pub? Hey, you! Oh. Oh, I didn't want to talk to him. Let's talk to him anyway. What's new? Everyone has been worried lately. It's not enough that the paladins have made themselves at home here. Now people are constantly disappearing in the strangest fashion. That's not it's about good. time the militia finally did something about it. Now they're disappearing. What interesting things are there to see here? The big ship that the paladins came in is in the harbor. It's an enormous boat. You have to take a look at it. But I can't imagine that they'll let you on board. The paladins guard the ship like the crown jewels. No wonder. It's the only seaworthy vessel anchored anywhere, far and wide. Okay. Um, I don't think we need to know this. I think I do have an idea who that is. Um, and I think this is what we're trying to become, a citizen of the town. I think. Not entirely sure. As I said, it's been three weeks since I streamed and since I played this. Um, let's ask this though. What can you tell me about this area? <laughs> now at the temple. Where do you want to go? At the temple? I thought we were in a pub. I guess Thanks we can call it a temple if know. you really want to. Um, goodbye. Who I wanted to speak to is actually this guy, Valentino. Hey, you. Hey, you. Oh god. Uh hold on. Well, what have we here? I met him? Have you no manners? What? That's disgusting. What's Always going on? This filthy rabble. Haven't you a job where you ought to be? It's nighttime. But I and suppose no. no one would miss a down at heel fellow like you, hey? Well, if you had as much gold as I do, you wouldn't have to work either. But you'll never be that rich. I see I'm gonna have lots of fun with you. Hey Lorcan, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good to know that you're still alive, survived the new year and everything. I'm very well, thanks for asking. Um Do you have anything else to tell me? Happy New Year indeed. Self popular never promise anything to anyone. Take what you can and watch out that you don't get into a quarrel with the militia. Or okay. with jealous husbands, of course. They're the worst, let me tell you. See a bit of a women's men. Um I'm not gonna teach him some manners because he's gonna kill us. How was your visit to Germany? It was great. I had lots of fun, but I'm still hungover. I got back yesterday and I'm still hungover. And the last time I drank was on Friday and I'm still hungover. I don't understand. I'm getting old, man. I asked you who you are. I am Valentino the Handsome. Bon vivant and ladies man. What a man. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna tell, uh, teach him some manners, because he's gonna massacre us, probably. Most likely. 
Who's this? A maid, okay. Caragon. Best Berkham? I don't think so. Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. I don't think we need a drink or food. Um, but we can chat to him. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now, except for the rich people from the upper quarter. What's wrong with them? Yeah, <laughs> some of those swells could really get on your nerves. Take that uh, Valentino, oh. for instance. <laughs> I can't stand the sight. Maybe we do have to teach him some manners. But I can't pick my customers. Yeah, I need every coin I can make. What little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. Wasn't me, I swear. Hey, Jimmy people, how are you doing? Good to see you. It's been a while, I think. Um, to be fair, I haven't been streaming in the last three weeks because it was home for Christmas and New Year's, but um, good to see you again. You've been robbed? Yep, some time ago. It was still rather crowded that night, and uh, I was doing the rounds serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I went to see the militia about it. The militia? The thing, of course. Yeah, yeah. They prefer to get plastered on free beer. That's not too bad. I'd do that. I have done that, in fact, for the last two weeks. Tell me about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. Even Thorben, the carpenter in the lower part of town, has lost his apprentice. Hakon, uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, had an especially strange tale to tell. He said that there was this feller that he used to bump into every day, and then suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even went to see the militia about it. Townspeople all pretty much panicked after that. Why can't he pronounce I militia? I, I think it's all nonsense. Corinus is a rough city, and many dangers lurk outside her gates. Those that they who do. stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits or eaten by wild animals. Yeah, it's that simple. <laughs> How long have I been playing Gothic 2 for? Literally, this is the second time I'm playing it. I played three weeks ago before I went home to Germany for like two hours or so. So we literally just arrived in Carinus and now are exploring there. The English dub is kind of weird, I've heard. I only ever played them in German. Yeah, you know that I'm German as well, so I wanted to... Uh, some uh, I wanted to play them in German, but the, most of the people watching uh, obviously don't speak German. It's okay though. I only played them in Polish. Well, it's a first for all of us then. That's cool. <laughs> what is it with this Valentino? Yeah, he's filthy rich and has no need to work, and he brags about it to everybody, whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end. Shall we beat him up? Then early in the morning, he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. I'm also still a bit ill, but I'm okay. I'm, I'm getting there. I guess being ill for two weeks and drinking for two weeks isn't good for your body. What do I have to do to get into the upper quarter? Well, you need to be a citizen of the town. Uh, Go find some work. I think that's what we're doing. With a craftsman in the lower part of town. Uh, yeah, uh, that'd make you a citizen. Well, uh, and if that's still not enough, go talk to Lord Andre at the barracks. Maybe he'll let you join the city guard. They can go into the upper quarter, too. Problem is, I don't really remember what we've done last time. I think we just got into the city and spoke to people, but I can't remember to who. What's up? How's it going? You're not from around here, are you? Never mind. Neither am I. Where did you hang around before? In the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves, together with some hunters. But I gave it up. These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around out there. Is there? Just to readjust my camera as a new one. Uh... Where can I find the other hunters? We had our camp outside near the tavern, halfway to Onar's farm. But I don't know whether there is anyone left in the camp now. There used to be two of us here in town until a few days ago. My friend Trokar is an excellent hunter. Okay. Bosper oh, that's that guy. Yes, I did. But he was only interested in his blasted hides. 
I told him how dangerous it's gotten out there. He didn't really listen to me. Well, anyway, he paid well. I can't complain about that. Can hmm. you tell me anything else about him? <laughs> Vosper had one of his bows stolen recently in broad daylight. Probably him, eh? Some guy just walked into his store, took a bow, and left. The thieves are getting more and more brazen. Might be him. Maybe not. Can you teach me something about hunting? I think that would be good to get early on. Like, Can you teach me something about hunting? How to skin animals and stuff? How to sneak properly and how to right. handle a bow. Um... No, I don't think we need any of that right now. So, where is your friend Trokar now? Well, it's a curious story. Only a few days ago, we were both standing at the bar in Corrigan's Tavern, discussing the hunt. Don't ask me what happened next. I had had a few by then. Mm. I vaguely remember Trokar saying that he was going out to get a few swamp weed reefers. He never came back. Goodness. Uh. Didn't you go looking for him? No, but I reported it to the militia. But they haven't been able to find him yet. They won't pronounce or militia a bit weird. A wolf, or worse, I'm afraid that I'll stumble over his body someday when I'm out hunting. I don't think I could bear that. <laughs> Why is he laughing so much about that? Where does one get swamp weed reefers? Somewhere down at the harbor, as far as I know. Any plans for playstyle? Um, I don't have any plans yet. I don't know what's possible. I think somebody told me the the first time we played this, um, just before Christmas. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. Usually, first playthroughs I do in different games, I usually go with um, melee. Um, but we'll have to see how it goes. Oh, hunting together? Why don't we go hunting together? That's it. Mm. With two, it isn't so dangerous. That's true. No, that's do a terrible you know idea. Thing about hunting, then? I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? I don't yeah. think so. Right, oh, I do. I want to see fifty gold pieces. What? For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Busper. That's a fair deal, isn't it? I don't think it is. Um, should we give it to him anyway? Is that a good idea? Maybe later? Later. Okay. That's interesting. So we can go hunting with him. Let's do a save here. I mean, we could technically try to do this. But I don't think we will have much of a chance, to be honest. I have no idea. Rages. All these people are just showing up in the bar. Who are you? Has anything exciting happened? Oh, well. All's quiet. I suppose that when the orcs come, we can't fail to notice. Okay, um, probably not, no. Citizen, citizen. Valentino. Shall we try to beat up Valentino? Let's try. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you some. God, this is not gonna go well. Doesn't matter to me. Thrash me all you want. When I get up tomorrow, I'll be fine again. But you'll have to run around with that mug of yours for life. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. So apparently we can't provoke him to attack us. That's a shame. Okay, let's get back out of this place that I stumbled upon and continue exploring. I've no idea. There's a um, shooting star. No idea how big this town is and um, how long it's going to take to explore it. It would actually be nice if we could sleep somewhere, but I have no idea where we could sleep. To Merchant Street. I think we've been in the Merchant Street and have spoken to most people there. Constantino, who are you? What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. I'm not asking um to give to get something. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you gonna sign up? I don't know yet. Um <clears throat> Okay. Okay, he's not that interesting actually. Yeah, I have no idea where we were with the quest. Oh hold on, can I read this book? Eating personal ingredients. Okay, right. Don't need that information right now, I don't think. Um, I can remember this square. What was back here? I don't know where to go first. It's always a problem when exploring new areas. I want to explore everything. 
but I don't know where to start. I sort of want to save the best for last, but you never know where the best is. And it's your first time somewhere. What is this? Why are people still awake here? Is this like an outside bar? Rengaru. What are you doing here? I wouldn't know how that is any of your business. Get lost! Okay, sorry, man. Landlord. Hey, come closer. Take a break and have a sip of cool beer. Lord Andre is springing for a few barrels of free beer. That's nice. Does that mean I can just take those? Let's do a safe. You don't say. Ha! Did it really take all of them? Or maybe if I take all of them, they're just going to beat me up. I certainly would if somebody just came and took all of the free beer. Ranga and Ulf. What are you guys doing here? Having a party? Hey, Ranga, how are you doing? Hey, what's up? We, uh, as long as the paladins don't have any new assignments for me, I, I can have myself a couple of beers here. <laughs> what more could you ask? I don't know, man. Working for the paladins? Well, yeah, I, I report to them on the situation in the city. At the moment, everything is quiet. Okay. That's not what I heard. How are things with the orcs? No reason to worry. We in the city guard and the paladins have everything under control. Go home and let us do our work. We're watching over the town and its citizens. Oh, <laughs> oh what happens if I get him another beer? Would you like another beer? <sighs> mm, there's nothing better than a cool ale. Nobody will learn anything. Oh, I thought he was going to fall down, but maybe he does actually if you give him too many. We could try it out. About to say something about the orcs. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <clears throat> the orcs are absolutely no threat to the city. Mm, they're stuck in the uh, Valley of Mines, <coughs> and, and the pass is, is held by the paladins. Isn't that where we came from? Not even a meat bug could get through there. Hmm. That, that. What if I give him another beer? Let's try. Would you like another beer? Well, I won't say no to a decent pint. Just like me, a man after my own heart. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Might be a waste of a beer. They've even spotted an orc outside of town. <laughs> yeah, right. The dangerous orc outside the city. A real monster of an orc. Well, he's bound to attack really the city soon. What is a single orc gonna do? We'll That's an open kick secret. that fat orc in his... Fat ass if he comes too close to the city. Got it. I see. I got it. What happens if I give him a third one? Would you like another beer? A tasty bitter ale is absolutely the best. <laughs> now I want a beer. That's all just gossip. Getting jealous. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. You know, you don't have to meet someone who will treat you to a beer. That's not what my husband <clears throat> You're all right. Of course I am. Okay, let's uh, leave it at that. He probably doesn't have more information. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. What's this Martial about? law is immediately declared in oh. all cities and really regions of the point. realm. All civilian judges are to hand over their duties to the royal paladins effective immediately. The Honorable Lord Andre is commanded to punish every crime or act of resistance against the king's guards most severely. Every inhabitant of Corinus who is guilty of a crime is to <laughs> Why is he announcing this in the middle of the night? I don't know. A bit strange. Don't bother me. I'm on duty. Okay. I thought we were done now. Right. Hello, all are you doing? Hey. And what are you doing here? I'm a novice from the monastery. Oh. I run errands for the magicians and also the paladins. That's pretty cool. I have provided the three innkeepers in the city with wine from the monastery. Just to work, so they're after long days work to have a drink. That's a fair point, Ruby Royal. You've been told, Lorcan. Um. Who are the three innkeepers? One of them is the good man here behind the bar. Hmm. Then there is Kerrigan, who has his tavern on the Temple Square. And Cardiff, the owner of the tavern in the Harbor District. Cardiff. 
the 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 bartender behind him that we spoke to the landlord or whatever he's called he looks like the rice lord from um, gothic one probably intentionally eh? what can you tell me about the monastery we novices seek enlightenment in prayer to in us and learn the principles of faith from the magicians we serve them as we serve in us and prepare ourselves for the union with the fire they won't understand much being drunk probably not i mean there's one of them is drunk the other seems to seem to be okay that being said the bloody bartender keeps drinking as well so <laughs> i don't know how, how sober he is uh do we want i don't want to go through the monastery just yet i don't think Hear ye, inhabitants of shut up man By the explicit yeah. order of the what's he saying Lord something new Lincoln, what's up here and what's down here see what i mean it's so difficult to explore in the sleepy money bag can we sleep here or is it getting day again it's be nice to explore during the day Customer, what can I do for you? Um, I have a few questions about the city. Tell me about the town. Corinus is one of the wealthiest cities within the kingdom, even if it doesn't look like it at the moment. But since the Orc War started, trade has almost come to a complete standstill. The king has requisitioned the entire merchant fleet for military service, which means that hardly any ships come into the harbor now. So, the supply of goods is very scarce now, and many citizens of the town are very worried. Nobody really knows what the future will bring. There's basically nothing we can do but wait and see what happens. It's not like we can change anything. Okay. Where can I buy something around here? The market is directly in front of the door. You should be able to find every... There are okay. a few more shops and crafts. Okay. Also, there's a fish market. Okay, that's pretty boring. Let's just get a bed and... Um... I'm looking for a room. Sleep until ah, morning. The right One of the paladins told me that I could spend the night here for free. What? Yes, yes. Really? Let's go up the stairs. We still have one or two beds free. Why does she not charge me? Why do the paladins pay for everything? I don't know what that's all about either. For one thing, I think they want to get all the poor suckers off the streets so they don't make hmm. any mischief. And for another, they want to get on the good side of the trading <coughs> traders. Now that the farmers are rebelling, we have to rely on the traders for provisions. Besides, I think they want to improve the morale in the city a bit. Lord Andre has even arranged for free beer to be given out at the Gala Square. Because it's the Honorable Lord Hagen order? I'm not so sure if he's really that honorable. Hey, it's been a while. Happy New Year. Thanks, British. Good to see you again. Happy New Year to you too. Um, yeah, I was obviously, I told, I don't know if you were there, but I uh, was saying that I was away for New Year's and Christmas, so I wasn't here for three, three months? No, three weeks, not three months. But now I'm back. Um, Who's staying here at the moment? Almost all of them are traveling traders from the market. Aha. Don't even think about messing with their stuff. I don't want any trouble here. Okay. Um... We may mess with their stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. What's that painting? Is that from Gothic 1, an artwork? Looks like the hero with the, the the armor you get at the end fighting like a harpy or something. What is... Can I go through this door? Is he going to hate me for that? I'll never get this open without uh, the right key. Probably have to steal it from her from somewhere around here. Uh, damn it. What do you want? Nothing. I'm literally just coming up here to sleep and to talk to everybody uh, what's the matter how's business Sarah how's business when the paladins came I first thought that it was a good business opportunity but mm. they let Herod make their weapons and neither Hacka nor I make even one gold piece off them moreover okay. the farmers no longer supply us with food and all the prices have gone up it's only a small consolation that the paladins are paying my hotel bill mm. okay What's the problem with the farmers? They refuse to deliver their goods. Now that the ships no longer come in, the city depends entirely on the supplies provided by the farmers, of course. An owner, the largest farmer, has hired mercenaries to protect his farm from the city guards. Otherwise, they'd simply snatch the goods for themselves. But the mercenaries don't just guard Onar's farm. They come as far as the small farms outside of town to intimidate the farmers. I saw them as I was passing Akil's farm. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes now. I remember them talking about Ona's farm, but I don't think we've actually been there. I think we've only been to one farm yet. 
Where will I find Akil's farm? If you go out of the East Gate here and follow the road to the right, you'll come to a stairway. It leads up to Akil's farm. But I wouldn't go there now. Hmm. The mercenaries are certainly still there. Okay, what's the problem with that, though? They're not going to do much to us, are they? Cantha. Hey, I have a proposition for you. What do you want? Many I farms? Want okay. Stall in the marketplace back. Sarah snatched it away from me. Oh. She has had that spot long enough. I want her to give up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison. You pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. What? What's in it for me? When I have the stall, you will <clears> get a <throat> weapon from me, and a damned good one. I don't know if we are going to do that. I don't think we will. What will happen if I refuse to do that? That would be truly <laughs> stupid of you. Because you see, I know that you're an escaped convict. No, I'm not. If that gets around, it could do considerable harm to your situation. In I'm the sure city. we'll be fine. Not gonna let no, uh, no, us no get intimidated. That was the wrong decision, boy. <clears throat> we shall speak again. I'm sure we will. Got to go. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Who was that person falling down there? Is it daytime again, or why are people getting up? Archon. Wait a minute. I am Hacken, the weapons dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days, especially when venturing outside of the city walls. Right. Tell me more about the area around the city. It's gotten too dangerous out there because of the bandits, for one thing. And also on account of wild beasts. Even the animals don't seem to get enough to eat in these crappy times. They're venturing closer to the city all the time. I think it's daytime, everybody's getting up. Do you know anything about the paladins? Yes. Those guys are ruining my business. All you can buy in this entire town is a short sword at most. Mm. They help themselves to anything that's longer than a foot and a half. Mm. In return... <laughs> I now get to live in the hotel free of charge. <laughs> I know something longer than a foot and a half. Goodness. Where do you get your weapons from? Harad the Smith has been my supplier up to now. Now all he does is make stuff for the paladins. He works for those guys day and night like a madman. Without pay. He thinks it's his duty. All I can offer you now is my remaining stock. Don't think we know anything just yet. What do you know about the disappearances of the citizens of Corinus? I have seen many pass through the eastern city gate. Mm. Some of those who came, I had never seen before in my life. And many of those who went out, never came back. But what happened the other day was really quite strange. And what there was, was that? fellow who came here. I think his name is Joe. Of course, he Joe. He bragged that he would soon come into some serious money. He claimed that he knew how to get into one of the city towers. Where the militia keep their arms. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen him since. Even though I used to bump into him around the same time every day. I reported this to the militia. I thought that maybe he had been caught and thrown into the dungeon. But Lord Andre had no idea what I was talking about. He didn't even know the fella. Okay. What do you know about the bandits? What do I know about them? Seems to be a lot of problems in this city. On my way to the city. And I'm not the only one. They've been up to their tricks for quite a while. The militia tried to track them down, but without any success. Miss. Do you know who in the so militia took dialogue. part in the search? The fellow's name is Pablo. <coughs> he and a few others went looking for the bandits, but they didn't find them. Do you know where I can find Pablo? He patrols around the city. You'll find him either at the Temple Square or in the lower part of town. Okay. Um, I don't think we've met him yet, this guy, Pablo. Where did they hold you up? Near Akil's farm. Oh. Right the city gate from here. Looks like we have to go to Akil's farm eventually. Right. After a while, you'll get to a few steps. The bastards came from there. I bet they have their hideout back there in the Hold on a second. Is that where we've been? No. I'll deal with it. What? You <coughs> want to take on the bandits? By yourself? You're quite a good fighter, huh? I wasn't the last game. Worth to you. That's a dangerous business. Well, it's all right with me. I'll pay you 100 gold pieces if you defeat the bandits. Hmm. 
Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. I'm not going to do that right now, though. Still have some exploring to do. Why is this guy still sleeping? Everybody else is up. Abu Yin. What a name. Is he like... Damn it. How strange. It seems to me that I have met you before, traveler. I don't think we've met. Great are the mysteries of time and space. Oh, please forgive my rudeness, son of patience. <laughs> I have not even greeted you yet. Welcome, friend. Take a seat on my humble rugs and enjoy a pipe in peace. Maybe he sits outside usually, where the um, water pipes are, the shishas. Who are you? My name is Abu Jin ibn Jadir ibn Omar Khalid bin Haji al Sharidi. <laughs> I am a seer and a prophet, an astrologer. And the purveyor of tobacco. Okay. Bomb what weed? kind of tobacco do you offer? My pipes are filled with spicy, Ooh. refreshing apple tobacco. Help yourself whenever you want, son of adventure. Son of adventure. Do you have other tobacco as well? I offer only the very best tobacco. This apple plant is a symphony from my homeland, the Southern Isles. But of course. I'm always open to trying a different sort of tobacco. If somebody should succeed in producing a really good tobacco... Hmm. How's that done? Start with my apple tobacco as a basis, and then try combining it with another ingredient. Okay. This is done at an alchemist's bench, provided you know the essentials of alchemy. Um, uh, maybe we'll get some tobacco then, and then try Where something? Where can I get apple tobacco? I shall give you... Oh. Two portions. It is up to you, in your wisdom, to do with them whatever you want. If okay. you crave more, then direct your steps towards Zuris, the master of potions. He produces this tobacco, and he sells it too. Okay, cool. I thought we had to buy it from him. Can Apparently you not. Make me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee. Oh, father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, 25 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. But what? Remember, the future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. Okay, we've got to do this. Worth it, I'm sure. Tell me about the future. <sighs> All right, seeker of knowledge. Hmm? I shall now enter a state of trance. I just gotta smoke something. Yep. Ooh, he's floating. They are guarding an entry, an old tunnel, the Valley of Mines. Man in shining armor, a magician. Your friend is with them. What friend? He is waiting Lester? for you. Maybe. Fire, an attack. A dragon, maybe? The flames, many shall die. What is that? A city, ruins. Quar Holdran in Jakandar. How is that supposed to mean? Summoned. Quar Holdran in Jakandar. Is that the sleep again? I'm sorry. The vision is over. There's nothing more I can see. It's so funny you talk to these people in the hotel, hotel bedroom and not in the marketplace. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why I wanted to go to sleep. But, um... Well, it is what it is. Can't do anything about it. Now, these two are still asleep. But the rest has gone down, so I have a suspicion that it might be day. Let's have a quick look. Yep, it is daytime. There we go. Cool, now we can do uh, continue with our exploring as it's supposed to be. Man, I forgot how pretty this town is and the walls and the uh, mountains and all that stuff. Baltram. Have I... Uh... Have I been here? Have I talked to these people? Is this where we came from? I don't think it is. Let's talk to Baltram. Welcome, stranger. My name is Baltram. Have you come to stock up on food? Nope. I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. I don't have much in stock right now, but I'll be getting a new delivery soon. Okay. 
Have you got a job for me? No, oh, I already have an errand boy. Try the other merchants. Right, that I'll do. Go away, don't tell me that. Go away. Regal, we spoke to the hotel, I think. Sarah, we spoke to as well. Can we maybe tell Sarah that the other guy's out to get her? No, we can't. That's a shame. Um, what about these people here? Citizen Jora? Have you spoken to Jora? Be with you, stranger. Nope. If you're looking for a good selection for the traveler, then you're in the right place. But okay. I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment. Do I look like a thief? <laughs> bah. You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. Oh. Um. Somebody stole from you. I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduce himself as Ringaru, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around oh. the marketplace the last few days. And every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand <laughs> down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. Have you spoken to him there? Moment, and my purse was gone. Okay. I can get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? Um. Well, that depends. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? <laughs> You've got the wrong man. Oh. From out of town, like most of the merchants in the marketplace. Okay. If you want to get into the upper quarter, go talk to the resident merchants in the lower part of town. Can I have some gold then? I want part of the gold as a reward. First, see if you can get my purse back. Then we'll talk about your reward. Okay, not a problem. Uh, why didn't you call the city guard? The guards only respond if a thief is caught in the act. Hmm. And when I noticed my purse was missing, the bastard was already gone. Damn it! That's not what I heard. How much gold was in that purse? Fifty gold pieces. That's quite a lot in these crappy times. Well, it's starting to rain. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Okay. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So think of something. I shall. Maybe we can provoke him. About, yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much no. More still working on it. I'm still working on it. Then see to it that you get my gold back. Yep, I'll try that. I've got to go. Okay, before we talk to him, we'll definitely have to save because things could get out of hand really quickly. Yep, that was him. Let's see what happens now. Hello, Ngaru. How are you doing? Now that's typical, isn't it? Jora says you've got his money. Damn it! I'm out of here! Bro! Oh. oh, damn! I didn't expect that to happen out of all things. Can't sprint, can we? No, I don't think we can sprint in Gothic. Um, That's not great. I don't know if you've been allowed to be up here. What are we going to do? We may have to load. Depending on where it goes. Can't escape from me. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hey, 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 what do you want from me? Well, huh? just the money. You stole from Jorah in broad daylight, and he even saw you do it. So I've come to tell you that you're a lousy thief, and that... And that? Um... You had better hand over Jorah's gold now. Here's the dough, man! But now let me go! I'll never do it again! Okay. What if I say this? I should turn you into the militia. What else do you want? I've got nothing left. Let me go, man. Why is he so afraid of us? We literally got a little knife and he's got a sword. Um, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? In the city, it's always good to know the right people and to stay on their good side. I could put in a good word for you. I I can't and won't say more. The rest is up to you. Okay. I'm going to let him go for now. Get lost and don't show your face around here again. Oh, you won't regret this. Thanks, man. No worries. Goodbye, Rangaru. It was nice chasing you. I don't understand why NPCs can just sprint and you can't. Okay, this is a jump. No, I'm just walking. You definitely can't sprint. Bloody Harold is still delivering the same speech. 
the base that you let him go. Maybe. Panther? I mean... Oh, who's this? The mage? Darren, out of all names. What can I do for you? Are you seeking spiritual comfort? Do you want to direct a prayer to our Lord in a oh. or donate some gold for Don't we have to do some sort of pilgrimage? I need to talk to the paladins. Can you help me get to them? Well, you need access to the upper end of town. However, this is allowed only to citizens and the city guard. And of course, to us, magicians of fire. How can I become a fire magician? You must join our order as a novice. When you have served for a time, perhaps you will be accepted into the ranks of the magicians. However, the path to acceptance is long and full of work and study. Hmm. Uh, your blessing? I've come to get your blessing. That's good. That's good. Then you will oh. probably want to donate gold to the Holy Church of Enos. Of course. Actually, I wanted your blessing so I can sign on as an apprentice in the lower part of town. But my son, mm. without a modest donation to the church, how much is modest? For me to bless you. How else can I be certain of your good intentions towards the Holy Church? Of course. How else? How much? So, how much does a donation usually run to here? Well, that depends oh. on what percentage you want to give, son. Let me see how much you brought. Thank God we probably don't have much. Hmm. Okay, you let's. Have more than a hundred gold pieces. The Lord says, "Give if you have." Hold on. The church accepts your generous what? donation. What? I bless what? you in the name of Inos, for He is light and righteousness. What the hell? I didn't allow him to take my money. Damn it! Where do you come from? I come from the monastery of the magicians, which lies in the mountains. We accept everyone there who is pure of heart and feels the desire to serve our almighty lord Inos. I don't think I do. Tell me about Inos. Inos, our almighty lord, is the light and the fire. He chooses humans to be his tool, giving them magic and laws. We Darren is a scam artist, he is. We administer justice according to his will and preach his word. Probably isn't even a magician. Just a guy asking for money. Tell me more about the monastery. We instruct our students in all forms of magic. <clears throat> but the arts of the magicians of fire consist of more than these alone. We are also well versed in the art of alchemy and in the creation of power. I believe that I'm still talking to him after the stunt he just pulled. We also make excellent wine. Oh, wine, is that right? What are you doing in town? I have discussions with the paladins and support the citizens with my advice and with helpful words. Particularly in these difficult times, it is our duty to be there for the people and to help the poor. Hmm. Oh no, I'm not going to make another donation. You can screw that. Never going to donate to you guys again. Do I have enough money to pay this guy back? I hope so. About the thief. Yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my gold? <laughs> well, I had it and then bloody Darren. What? No, I... Oh. He got away from me. And what about my gold? Did he get away with it? No, I've got it. Here's the 50 gold That's all that matters, right? From you. In us be praised. There is still justice in the city. Yep. Uh, I want part of the gold as a reward. If it's gold you want, then hunt down the thieves and collect the bounty oh. Andre. Now, I must get back to my customers. I can't believe that he's not giving us anything for helping him. What a dick. Sorry, but that's just rude. What are these people doing out here? Do we want to go out here? No, let's stay in the city for now. What's in here? Let's save, just in case we're gonna get killed going through this door. You never know. It's too far away. I'll never get this open mm. without the right key. Okay. Greg! <laughs> Why is Greg there eating cheese? Hey, you! <laughs> Look at him chew. He actually looks quite cool when he's not chewing. One more thing. Hold on. Oh! 
We'll talk again later, got it? Is that the guy that I gave the, the um, farmer's uniform to go inside? Hakon, I think I've spoken to as well, yeah. Okay. Seems like we've spoken to most people here in this area. Um, uh, we've also... Oh, hold on. Damn it, my mouse is stuck. Um, I think we've actually spoken to all the people down here now. Oh, who the fuck's Zurus? Apparently not. I'm Zurus, master of potions. Hello. Do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? No. Then you've come to the right place. Okay. Um... Do you brew your own potions? No, I either get them from the monastery or I buy them from Constantino, the alchemist. If you're interested in brewing potions, then talk to him. Okay. He needs an assistant. But oh, he's yeah. too pig-headed to hire someone himself. He's just as stubborn as a mule. Right. He always passes me when he goes out on the east gate to collect plants for his potions. Um... Where exactly does Constantino gather his herbs? He always goes through the eastern city gate here, and then disappears into the wilderness to the left. He once told me that just about everything grows there, except for King Sorrel. Okay. Has Constantino ever told you where to find King Sorrel? This smells like a quest. The stuff grows near stone circles, near mm. Lobart's farm. That's a farm near the other gate. Ooh. There's one of those stone circles. I think it's on a hill. It used to be a grave or something. I think we may have... King Sorrel or whatever it's called already then. Because we have been to a stone circle if I remember correctly. Right, okay. Let's go down to the left. Oh, hold on. What is this up here? Do we go down or up first? Do I have a map? I don't think I do have a map. How does maps work in this game? Do we also have to have physical maps? I think so. Okay, let's um, maybe go up here first and then go down to the harbor area. See what's going on down there. Is this just um, like a garrison? People training and doing whatnot. Guard, city guard, city guard. Wolfgar, what a name. How's your duty? How's your duty? Oh, these boys swing their swords like farmers, but when I'm done with them, Every single one of them will be a tough, hard bastard. Of course, what else would they be? Um. <clears throat> What's it like with the militia? Lord Andre is our commander now. The militia used to report to the governor. <laughs> he had no idea what we do here. But Lord Andre knows what he's doing. He takes good care of the men. Everyone who starts here gets some decent armor and a good weapon. And there are bonuses if you've done a good job. He pays a bounty for every criminal captured. Oh, maybe we should have catch up that guy, captured that guy then. Um, what if, what if we want to join? I want to join the militia. So, are you a citizen of the town? No. Then Lord Andre won't take you. Sure, you can talk to him, but I don't think he'll make an exception for you. Hmm. What about training? That shouldn't be. Can you also train me in sword fighting? Lord Andre has ordered that we train everyone who is in a position to defend the city. But that's only true for combat training. All other kinds of training are reserved for the militia. Can you at least halfway handle a weapon? I think so. All right. You can start when you're ready. How do you pronounce militia correctly? It was just that one guy who pronounced it a bit weird, but I can't remember how. It was somewhere, somewhere at the end that I, he some, somehow pronounced weirdly. Then there's obviously different ways of pronouncing words in English, like in different dialects and accents, just like in German. Um. What are the advantages <clears throat> of one or two-handed weapons? Quite simple. With a one-handed weapon, you're faster. That can be a considerable advantage in battle. Two-handed weapons are more ponderous. You have to fight with foresight, but you can do a lot more damage when you're hit. Gothic 1, I made a mistake that I didn't skill any two-handed, and at the end of the game, you only have two-handed weapons. Where should I start, with one-handed or two-handed weapons? That's entirely up to you. Mm. If you specialize in only one type of weapon, you automatically learn the other at the same time. If, for instance, you're good at fighting with one-handed swords, but still a beginner with two-handed weapons, your two-handed skills will go up as well whenever you train with a one-hander. In that okay. case, the training is more exhausting than if you train with both types of weapons. 
Just start and you'll soon see what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't quite understand. Let's begin with the training. Maybe let's start with one-handed. Um... Oh, is that it? Is that what, what it was? For now? Let's have a look at our skills. We are guiltless, level 2. No magic circle. We've got 10 learning points still, so we could skill something. Length, dexterity, mana, hit points. Okay. One hand is now at 18%. Oh, is that is that the crit chance? 18%? Or is that our skill with it? I think it's our crit chance, right? If I remember correctly from the last game. Andre! Enos, be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? I'm just chilling. Oh, do I? I've got an important message for Lord Hagen. Well, you stand before one of his men. What is this about? Uh... Uh... Let's say this, maybe? That I must tell Lord Hagen myself. Suit yourself. But you should know one thing. Lord Hagen receives only paladins. Or those who right. are in the service to paladins. It okay. is beneath his dignity to waste his time with members of the common folk. What a dick. Um... Why are you paladins in town? The goals of our mission are secret. I can only tell you that there is no danger for the citizens of the town. You need not worry. Okay. Um, what about service? I want to take up service with the paladins. Good. I can well use every able man here, no matter what his reasons for joining us. If you place yourself in the service of the paladins, I shall help you get oh. an audience with Lord Hagen. However, I have my orders only to oh. accept citizens of the town into the militia. My commander is afraid that spies or saboteurs could sneak in. He wants to limit the risk this way. Therefore, okay. you must first be a citizen of the town. Whether this rule makes sense or not is disputable. <laughs> orders are orders. Can you imagine the developers writing this? Is there a faster way to join you? Hmm. You're really serious about this, aren't you? Yep. Good. Listen, I have a problem. If you solve it for me, I shall see to it that you are accepted. Not a problem. The militia. But the most important thing is, you must not breathe a word of it to anyone. Yeah, that's fine. What's your problem? What's your problem? Recently, there have been a number of thefts in the city. Thus far, we have not been able to capture anyone. The thieves are simply too skillful. The scum know their business. I'm sure that we're dealing with an organized gang. Oh, no. Would that amaze me if there were a thieves' guild in Corinus. Ah. Find the leaders of the gang and hunt them down. Then what if I, I want to... to it that you are accepted into the militia, regardless of whether or not you are a citizen. Okay. But you must say nothing about our agreement. Right, yeah, fair enough. But I don't know if I want to kill the thieves' guild. It would be quite fun to join them, I think. Where should I start looking for the thieves? If I knew that, I'd go there myself. I can only tell you this much. Mm. We recently turned the entire harbor district upside down and found nothing. Absolutely nothing. The people there are not very talkative, particularly if you wear the armor of a paladin. But you are an outsider. They will not distrust you so quickly. You could ask around the harbor first, but be careful. If the people there realize that you are working for the paladins, you will learn nothing. Okay. What should I do once I've found one of the thieves? If it's a matter of a lackey, a henchman, or some small fry, it would be best if you avoid a fight. You should rather come to me and report. I shall then see to it that the fellow winds up behind bars. The city guard could intervene in an open battle, and you would not have the opportunity of explaining to them what is going on. Furthermore, there is a bounty for every rotten apple you put behind bars. However, if you locate the leader's hideout, well, then you probably won't be able to avoid a fight. I shouldn't have let that one guy go, eh? What should I expect with the militia? Let me make one thing clear. To be a soldier of the militia means much more than strolling through the city in a uniform. It is a dirty and even bloody job. Once you are one of us, a great deal of work will be waiting for you. But it is worth it. Besides the pay, you might someday have the chance of becoming a holy warrior hmm. of Innos. Difference between town militia and town guards? I'm not sure. I've got no idea. Um, okay. Um, can we go in here? Are they gonna mind? Not really, eh? City guard. Probably won't be too happy if we just open their chest. But I'm gonna see if I can read this book. Maybe there's some useful information in here. What do we have? 
Nothing? Oh, that's just a book. Okay. How boring. Why is there no music? Oh! What do you want here? Um... What can you tell me about this area? These are the barracks. Where do you want to go? Uh... That's not Thanks, nowhere. That's all I wanted to know. Don't worry. Can I see the prisoners? Is that allowed? I want to see the prisoners. All the cells are empty at the moment. Oh. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Can I read this book then? Are they really all uh, empty? That's boring. Um, can't read. Oh, I can. But there's nothing happening here either. What a shame. Okay, let's move on. Now that we've explored this part, we can actually go down to the harbour. I'm looking forward to that because that looked quite cool. Um, oh, can I take these? No, I don't think so. I think they're just assets for decorative purposes. Armchair. Why can't I read these books? Usually when I go to a book and read it, something happens. Oh, that's a nice track in the background. Can we turn up the music audio a little bit? Um, audio, music volume, just a little bit, because it does have a nice soundtrack. This game, so far from what I've heard. Yeah, get out! <laughs> that was a slow reaction. What happens if I go in here? Do you mind? Apparently they don't. Hello, Mortis. What do you want? Peck isn't here, so you can't get anything. Come back later. Hey, sorry. I want to get stronger. Of course you do. But so long as you aren't one of us, or a paladin, I won't help you. Well, that's a shame. Uh, oh, that's just a city guard. Who is Peck? Why is he not here? And why is he important? Okay. Right. That is that done, I think. Let's quickly look behind here if there's something else in this part. Of town that we've missed, like Ruga. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm training the boys to use a crossbow and help them become a little more dexterous. <laughs> He's got a funny accent. Could you train me? No, I mm. only train the men in the service of the king. Mm. Nobody else. But we I am sort of good people. So if you want to join the militia, go talk to Lord Andre. Done that already. Goodbye. Okay, so Ruga's just standing around, he's just a trainer for militia people. Fair enough. I think in Gothic 1 you were quicker if you jumped while going, but I don't think this is the case here. I think you're actually slower. Fair enough. Is he important or is he just a guard? He's just a guard. And I think that's still quite a bit to explore of this town. I'm having weird frame issues for some reason. I'll have to look into this after the stream. Might be because I um, changed something in the settings um, off the computer itself, not of the not of the game. Ranga and oh, have we spoken to them? Right, I think we spoke to everybody here. Oh yeah, that's the guy of the prophecy. Okay, cool. Let's go down into the harbor then, the harbor area. Pablo, have I spoken to him? How's the situation? At the moment, it's quiet. Only the bandits outside the city are causing us problems. Okay. What do you know about the bandits? They've all come from that blasted mining colony. But there are oh. several splinter groups. Some are holed up in the mountains, and others have joined up with Ona, the landowner. But it's the bandits outside of town who cause the most problems. They're the reason that none of the merchants venture beyond the city gates now. Right. What do you know about the bandits who robbed Hacken the merchant? Oh, that matter. Don't remind me. As far as we know, they're responsible for a lot of the attacks on merchants. Those rats have crawled into their holes and don't dare come out again. Once we were able to track them down and follow them. But we broke off pursuit in the woods outside the city. There's too many beasts roaming around there. It's much too dangerous. Hmm. But there's one more thing. A few of the stolen goods have shown up in Corinus. Oh. This means that they know how they can smuggle the wares into town and sell them. Yeah, we suspect they have a fence in the city, but we haven't been able to catch the guy yet. If you find out anything about the business, remember Lord Andre has posted a bounty for the fence. 
Okay. Where did the bandits who had my wanted poster come from? We picked them up near the landowner's place, but they didn't look like Onar's people. I think they're part of a smaller group which is holed up in the mountains near Onar's farm. But if you intend to go there, let me warn you. Those cutthroats make short work of everyone. I'll remember that. Okay, goodbye. Right. City Guard, I think we've spoken to everybody here as well in this area. Let's have a quick look around here. There's the a just sea released the land, and there arose all creatures, trees as well as animals, wolves as well as sheep, and last of all arose a human. And Adonis was pleased. Oh, here we go. Subtitles. He delighted in all the beings equally. Okay. Nice speech. I don't think I've heard that. Oh. was the wrath of Beliar that he came across the land and chose the beast. And Beliar spoke to the beast. And the beast became his subject. And Beliar gave unto it a portion of his divine power so that it might destroy the land. I can zoom out. Okay, this is a weird angle. Okay, let's move on. I just wanted to. Is this important? Okay, I'm gonna continue listening to him. I don't know if it's important or not. I mean, I think it's just law, isn't it? Can I? Okay. All of these doors here in town, you all you need keys for all of them. Brian, have I spoken to you, Brian? New in the city, huh? I'm Brian. I'm Master Harriet's apprentice. Okay. What's it like to be the Smith's apprentice? Why do you ask? You want to be my successor? Maybe. <laughs> Why not? I'm almost done with my apprenticeship, and then I'm going to leave the city. But not because of Harriet. He is a good master. I've learned a lot from him. Hmm. Okay. Why do you want to leave this town? Because the people here are getting on my nerves above all the other masters. That's the first time. I still remember what a fuss it was getting accepted as an apprentice with Harry. Mm. Really, every one of them jokers had something to say about it. I want to decide for myself who I can or can't take as an apprentice. That's a fair point. <clears throat> Tell me more about Master Harrod. He's not in a very good mood right now. Oh, great. A few days ago, the paladins came and ordered him to forge some swords for them. They've even forbidden him to sell swords to anyone else. Now he slaves day and night to finish the job as quickly as possible. Okay. Right. Cool. Um, so the only part that we've got left to explore is down here. Oh, Pablo. Why is Pablo here now? Pablo seems to be everywhere. Thorben. Have I spoken to you? No. Oh, this is one of those guys. Okay. Right. Cool, so the only part we've got left to explore is here, in the Harbour District. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do this today, um, but I should be back tomorrow, um, roughly around the same time. I will be streaming regularly now, from now on again, <laughs> now that I'm back. But um, for now, I'll have to have to call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I hope to see you again tomorrow, or whenever you've got the time. Anyway, have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Until then, goodbye.